Hello, I'm David from Paradigm Spark, and today I'm going to talk about filter coffee brewing and espresso making. So on the previous video, I mentioned that I used the espresso making knowledge to the filter coffee brewing. So I'm going to explain about how that transition uh, was looks like. And then after that, I will talk about how Paradigm Spark Flagship Cafe is building the brewing recipe. Before we start, I'm going to explain a few terms that we are going to use. In coffee making, there are many different variables. The terms that we are using have to be in the same page. The terms that I'm going to use today is the, uh, the mass out input, the amount of green, uh, ground coffee, and then mass output, the amount of brewed coffee that comes out from brewing chamber to the server. And then the third one is uh, TDS, total deserved solid in percentage, and then percent extraction. The last one, the percent extraction is calculated value. And there are many different uh, ways to calculate it for different purposes. But uh, the percent extraction that we are going to handle today is how many percentage of uh, coffee compounds transfer from ground coffee to the brewed coffee. So uh, I will explain further while we are watching the screen. So over here, we have how espresso extraction is working. On the top, I wrote down the terms that we are using today. The bottom part, the chart is showing brewing chart. So x-axis is percent extraction and y-axis is uh, percent TDS. What it shows here is uh, how one shot of espresso is moving on the brewing chart from earlier stage to the later part of the uh, espresso shot. As espresso shot is uh, extracted, the very earlier part is very sticky, thick. Then as the shot is running, it extracted less and less uh, coffee and adding more and more water. So if you take a sample in different sector of the one espresso shot, then you will easily can see the espresso shot is moving from thicker and stronger side to more weaker and watery side. So on the chart, what we are watching right now is how one shot is moving on the uh, brewing chart. And on the earlier stage, it locates on the left top corner. And then as it, it extracts, uh, the TDS is decreased and percent extraction is increased. So uh, in espresso taste, uh, in espresso training or barista training, uh, it is very common method that uh, tasting all their part of espresso and the later part of espresso and compare how flavor and strength level is changing. Also, you can see how uh, taste balance is changing as well, the acidity, sweetness, and bitterness level. And if you want to do more better uh, comparison from each stage, then you can take the sample of each stage, adjust the strength level to the certain strength level. Uh, most of the time, I adjust it to uh, whichever the later part of the extraction. So that is what very common in espresso training or barista training. So I brought that idea to filter brewing as well. So on the next chart, what you are seeing is how our cafe is making our brewing recipe. So it is a one cycle of process and uh, we are doing this cycle for each coffee and every single batch. So it is a uh, good behind the scene knowledge or behind the scene information that you can see today. So back to the screen. So the first thing that we are doing with uh, after uh, roasting coffee is uh, grind 25 grams of coffee and resting for a day. Our cafe is using all uh, pre-ground and rested coffee, but simply and briefly it reduce a huge amount of bitterness. And also uh, it is more efficient way to brewing with less amount of time, less amount of water, and because it decreased lots of bitterness and dry mouthfeel, uh, it also uh, highlighting the each coffee's unique characteristics and sweetness, acidity more than uh, freshly ground coffee. I will talk about that topic in separate video because it uh, requires more time. After we roast, uh, we grind coffee 25 grams and resting it for a day and then do this technical evaluation. So on the coffee evaluation, we are using two different parts of evaluation. The first part is technical evaluation. It is about how coffee and water is uh, reacting. And then the second part is sensory evaluation, how we tasters uh, perceive the flavors. So these two are different types of evaluation uh, process. So uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, on the technical, uh, technical evaluation process. And back to the screen. On here, uh, you can see a uh, mass input on the top corner, mass input 25 grams. And then what we are doing is uh, pull 
one uh, brew and separate it into five different uh, stages from very early stage of the extraction to the later part of extraction and you can uh, set the different rules but the rule that we are using for uh, recipe building is based on the ratio between the amount of coffee ground coffee used to amount of brewing water goes in in certain period of time so we are using Hario switch at our cafe we uh, steep for 20 seconds and release for 10 seconds and repeating that for five times for this technical evaluation process uh, on the first cup we uh, put 25 grams coffee and pour 100 grams of water and then at 20 seconds we will release it for 10 seconds and then after that we close the valve and add uh, 50 grams of more water at 50 seconds we release uh, coffee for 10 seconds and then after that again pour 50 grams of water for 20 seconds and then release for 10 seconds again pour 50 grams of water release for 10 seconds 50, gram, uh, 50 grams of water and release for 10 seconds so in each cup uh, is the first cup will be one to four ratio between coffee uh, to brewing water and second cup will be one to six one to eight one to ten one to twelve and the amount of output will be slightly different uh, i will bring one example over here so uh, the real data that we are going to use is this data it is a shade anaerobic natural process geisha from uh, costa rica by Alio castro and as you can see, uh, the mass output will be uh, changing throughout the brewing. And then we measure TDS of each cup. And then we can calculate the extraction percentage of each cup. And we are starting with 25 grams, but each stage we extracted, we extract coffee certain amounts. So the, on the second stage of uh, extraction Person, person extraction calculation, we need to consider that losing or ex already extracted parts. So the mass input for calculation method is changing, but uh, the initially uh, using coffee, ground coffee is uh, stays same, 25 grams. So uh, we measure TDS and then calculate the uh, percent extraction for each cup. The formula that we are using for this purpose is using this, is this. So simply mass output, uh, multiplies TDS percentage and then divide by uh, mass input then uh, I will leave it to you to find uh, how to calculate how input is changing for each stage and then once we finish this process then we move on to analyzing process I will show you the entire technical evaluation sheet on the later parts but first thing what we can see over here is from total deserved solid is changing so we uh, we'll see this one first because we total deserved solid is measured value and percent extraction is calculated value so to, uh, each cup has different uh, tds uh, percentage so the earlier parts of extraction will be higher it is uh, then the second part will be decreased and third fourth uh, you will see more decreased uh, tds percentage before we even uh, taste this each cup we need to adjust the strength level because if you taste five cups in different strength level then the strength uh, of cup impact to our evaluation uh, process so we try to mi uh, minimize this uh, strength level variable so we add water to dilute each uh, cup to 1.3 percent tds back to the screen uh, this line over here on the red is the 1.3 percent tds line uh, on our brewing advanced class i uh, show how to calculate how many grams of water we need to add to adjust the strength level so i'll skip that part and then after we adjust the strength level to uh, same level 1.3 percent tds as you can see the cup 5 is already below 1.3 percent tds so there's nothing we can do so we are going to taste as it is we are starting the quick uh, sensor evaluation for this part and then on sensor evaluation there are two big categories quantitative value and qualitative value but in this uh, technical evaluation process uh, we are focused on the uh, quantity uh, value first so uh, we are uh, evaluating these four parts acidity sweetness bitterness quantity and strength level of the cup so uh, I will show you the actual uh, sheet over here. So this one cell is one coffee. And as you can see, the cup numbers 
uh, mass input, uh, mass brewing water, mass output, uh, percentage of extraction, TDS percentage, and then uh, I will skip uh, all the other detailed parts. And then uh, on this column right here is uh, strength level and taste balance of acidity, sweetness, bitterness. So first digit is the strength level, and then quantity of acidity, sweetness, and bitterness. So once we've done this, and then we set how, uh, where's the uh, bitterness start comes out, and then we also looking for where's the flavor characteristics is changed from pleasant flavor to the unpleasant flavor. So we uh, draw the line that how far we want to extract the coffee, and then we keep the number over here. Then once we figure that out, then we move on to this recipe calculator. So simply copy and paste uh, these uh, information from uh, all your stage. So mass input, bring amount of water and mass output, percent extraction and TDS. And then set the, our set our uh, the goal, the amount of uh, coffee that we are serving. Then positive cup to negative cup and the ratio in between. So if we prefer somewhere between four cup four to cup five, then we put. 4.2 or 4.5 4 uh, then it shows our target person extraction TDS of initial coffee and then target TDS over here and then it shows how, what will be initially brewed coffee by following this water pouring method and then uh, this last line the final line is how many grams of uh, diluting water we need to add on so after uh, this process then we have the initial recipe and then we actually brew it and then see how what's the difference between the calculated number of initially brewed coffee and actually brewed coffee. And when we uh, type that in in this uh, sector, the actual brewed amount, then it will adjust the numbers and show the final recipe, which is what you can see on the right side of our coffee uh, brewing bar. So uh, this is kind of the short look of how we brew our coffee and how we developing our uh, brewing recipes. So in the further videos, there are many different small topics that we can go even deeper, but uh, I will handle those uh, detailed information in later parts. And this is all for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next video. Thanks.